This video demonstrates how to remove duplicates from a table in an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPy Excel. There are many ways that you can do this, and using Pandas data frames might prove to be a quicker and better method to remove duplicates, especially as the size of the dataset increases. But there is a relatively quick and painless way to accomplish this just using objects from the OpenPy Excel library and some simple for loops. Here is our testing document containing two columns of data, food and color. The duplicates in this sample data set are a coupling of food, apples, color, red, and food, onions, color, white. I will use OpenPy Excel to remove these duplicates. Moving to my Jupyter Notebook, here I bring in the workbook as WB and I select the worksheet as WS, and below I will be saving the work in this cell. First, we must collect the unique data from the table. I do that by creating an empty set and looping through the contents of the table. I use a set because sets contain only unique values. I loop through the rows with the worksheet iterRows function, specifying two arguments. First is the row that we will start with on this loop, which I state is two. The second argument I want to pass is the keyword argument values only, setting this to true. If I didn't pass this argument, the row variable would represent the cell objects in the rows, not the actual values contained in those cell objects themselves, which are the strings of text of different foods and colors. As I loop through all the rows, I add them to the set that I created above. I add these as tuples because tuples are easy to use to add to a worksheet. When I use the worksheet's append function, which you'll see shortly, it will add each value in the tuple to a specific column of its own. So the item contained in the first position of a tuple will be added to column A, the item in the second position will be added to column B, and so on. Printing out this set, we can see that all have the unique values from our table. Next, we must remove what we currently have in the Excel document. That is easily accomplished with the delete rows argument of the worksheet. If you are interested in learning more about how to delete rows or columns and how to insert them, I have made an entire video reviewing how to do just that. You can view it by clicking on the link at the top of this video or by visiting the link in the description. But for our case, I know we are starting with the second row of content and I will delete up to the last row, which is represented with the max row attribute of the worksheet. Now, all that's left is putting in the unique values. For that, we have a simple for loop where we loop through each unique row in our unique rows set and add them to the worksheet with the append function. With that cell executed, let's save the workbook and open it up to see what we were able to accomplish. And there you have it. The unique rows are all that's left in our Excel workbook. There is only one row of apple red, and one row of onion, white. So overall, it's actually quite simple. You just collect the unique rows of data from the table, delete all of the data on the table, and then add those unique values back into it. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. Please let me know if it was helpful in the comments below. Do remember to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can know when the next video drops.